Okay, let's explain today the script uh, that I made with Python here to create this thing here. Okay, you can see there is this table here rounded uh, with this background. So there is some CSS, some fine CSS here. So uh, to make an HTML table is a little bit uh, boring, so I thought to make this little script in Python to make this table. And so let's see how it works. So uh, I got this variable here, this string variable, where I get my um, the CSS style to make that. And then here I got this title, and then I have the table. Now you can customize this table, make it, change it. Uh, this table is made of one, two, three, four, five column, and in this case, three rows with this description here, with this header. And the header is um, is fixed because I think that you could want to make uh, something fixed here, of course. And but you can change it. However, the part that is that you will change. Want to see here? the HTML stops and here comes Python to say so and you see here I want to put here the, the rows so these rows here will be here instead of this thing that I left here to be substituted and replace it so this is the way I thought I could have done this and yeah and so what I did next I took this each row that starts so with the table row and the, and the cells and we got four cells in this case one two three four an empty cell here and I substituted with um, curly parentheses and curly brackets uh, my the data so we have four data, but I don't want just one. I could want two or more of this. So what I uh, do to simplify my work is to put a multiplication for two so that you know in Python you can multiply a, a string and duplicate it, uh, just multiplicating it with uh, for a number so I use this to do it so I just want in this case two lines here and so uh, the data will go into another string here that is called replace and on each line there is uh, one two three four the four data that I need so the name of the title I'm doing some accounting here the description of the of the movement uh, that I am making the the value here and then an empty line because here I, want, I don't want nothing under this the last, last column so then we start with another um, another um, line here so with the account with the, um, uh, the cause of the the movement empty and the value here for the rule of accounting of the I uh, don't know how to you say it in English but in Italian it's partita doppia so uh, if I wanted to uh, add another line I should have put here three and go on I could automate and and add to, to here another another account uh, another four lines I could automate also this to make um, aware of the of the number of lines I just could make it this a simple trick here I could put this one um, up before before the this variable here and do multiplicator for um, len replace dot split and divided by divided by how the, uh, divided by two so if there are um, eight lines it will be two if there are uh, twelve 
right 12 lines it will be free it should work let me try it mm, let me see where I do I went wrong so let me put this one here so it's a leader easier don't need this so land replace okay I must do let me see if I can make it this way lines equal this I multiplicated for lines okay I must do divided by four okay that was the mistake okay so now automatically if I if I add another four lines like let me do an example here and just okay I put something random here and an empty line there it is I added another line here so now it, you just have to deal with this forget and you can forget this thing here so that that's all and and that's how you, you can easily use this script to automate other type of lines where you get these numbers you could also make something a little different maybe um, you could is use commas here to have more control if you want of your of your thing here you can go here so each line will be on one line just leave something empty here and this one so this should be the same you should multiplicate divide by two now and um, and also now always by four because you could just uh, divide by this and then you could do no you could just go and uh, split it by the comma and it should work doesn't work perfectly because I think here I got to put another comma here there it is so now if you prefer this is maybe even easier because you can have a, um, a greater control and this could be as you can see a CSV a con control a, sep a CSV comma separated value format so it's it's really very convenient very easy to do don't you don't have to think about the things that it goes to this to the next line I could also do it like so I think if you prefer that is more readable yes it's perfect it goes perfectly right so that is all uh, to create easily a table and let me add another thing here 
to make you see that it's easy. Another operation here in Italian here is to when you buy something and so you have a certain price in in euro and euros and then you have to pay this tax here but but you will have it back and it's 22 percent so it's 22 then you have to pay to someone goes into this account and and you say the number of the invoice and you have nothing in here and 122 in case you want to know so Okay, there it is. I just missed something, I think. I must... Um, these are... must be an empty spot here and an empty spot... No. Yes, no. Uh, sorry. An empty spot at the end and at the end. Okay. Okay, now it's perfect. And you can see we got the two... This operation here. I could even do something more. I could even do something like this. One, two, three, four. So to leave an empty space here. Or even something more make it more visible if you want and so uh, that's all I think this is a nice way if you have to deal with uh, with tables and HTML and you not want to make all this stuff here copy and paste it it is not readable in my opinion while this one is much more readable and easy to to take control of apart from the fact that it is a comma separated value so you could even import it from an X an Excel file or a CVS CSV file so I think this could be useful for someone and so that's all and that's all my explanation and see you next time thank you